We didn't talk about the technological part uh, yet, but what is really interesting now is the smart contract technology. So um, it's probably a better idea to use an existing coin than to do an ICO if you don't plan to really use the technology. Because if you just want to do another uh, coin, it doesn't make really sense now because there is a, last time I checked, it was a, a thousand, uh, three hundred uh, uh, cryptocurrencies uh, on the coin market cap. So it's just uh, insane. <laughs> there is a, probably more cryptocurrencies than currencies in the world. So we, 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 should, we should just consider using uh, another cr cryptocurrency, maybe a uh, Bitcoin, Litecoin. And there is a lot of cr cryptocurrencies that are actually good enough to do probably most of the project that you guys have. But if you really want to use the smart contracts, of course, there is no choice but to run your own ICO because you will have to develop your own protocol and your own things in, in it. And this is what Loic said uh, during the intro. Uh, recently, uh, the, the community started to complain about Ethereum and the Solid Solidity uh, language and how uh, this, uh, this, this whole blockchain is not scaling as it should be. And uh, Vitalik recently announced that Vitalik uh, Buterin, who is the uh, conceptor of uh, Ethereum, uh, recently announced that he will actually, with his team, review completely uh, Ethereum and make uh, Ethereum 2. And definitely, the way the smart contract will be managed in the Ethereum 2 will be a big difference uh, and will make a big difference in any other ITO uh, that we will run in the future. So probably it, this, is the, the, this is the path that will take the ITOs for, in, in the future to, to better develop smart contracts. And this is my, my feeling, this is my opinion, but just, just to be honest now, it doesn't make sense to make a coin just to make a coin.